Hi, and welcome to this full moon ritual for November. Um, I know it's been a little while since I last did one, but um, once lockdown went away and kind of life started to get back to normal, things just got really busy and a lot going on. And I haven't had a chance to be able to go live on the different full moons. So I promised I would this month. So here I am and hopefully um, we can continue with this from now on now things have calmed down a little bit um and you will also notice that this is pre-recorded it's not live um for a whole load of different reasons but um facebook live wasn't really playing the game um and it just wasn't working out um the way it used to so i'm finding that pre-recording these things is a lot better um it also means that like so now you'll see that this is um uploaded and ready for you to watch um over the next 24 hours so it's up to you when you want to do the full moon ritual and when you want to watch this and it just makes it a little bit easier than everyone having to be there live especially when this one is at like eight o'clock in the morning so i know other people are busy then so that's why we're pre-recording it so enough waffle let's kind of get on with what um, we're here for which is the full moon ritual which is really good to be back and doing this again i hope everyone's well and keeping well and not too busy um so this full moon is friday so this to me is tomorrow morning um so it's friday and it's going to be around about well 8 50 something 8 57 a.m so it's quite early um and just to like kind of address something, a lot of people think that the full moon is when it has to be at night time, when it's in the sky. But um, I know like this might sound really simple and I'm sorry if I'm oversimplifying it, but the moon is always there um, even when it's daytime. So sometimes the full moon is in the daylight, which kind of seems a little bit weird because you expect to be able to see it. But it just it's there. We just can't see it. So it's 8.57 am on friday morning um, and it's a particularly good full moon because it, it's also times with a lunar eclipse which makes the full moon more powerful the lunar eclipse starts at around 6 a.m and then it goes right over into the full moon and then kind of finishes around about like 12 i think the whole thing finishes so it's really good morning for doing a bit of spiritual practice for honoring the moon and for doing the release things that we do so tomorrow morning is a really powerful time for all those kinds of things but then also if you can't do it first thing in the morning like doing it tonight before you go to bed is um pretty powerful but also any time at all on friday well the full moon will still be around and the energy will still be there so um a full so a full moon eclipse is to me i always think of it as like the sun and the moon coming together and so it's like the light and the dark together that's why it's particularly powerful so personally it can be like your shadow self so the things that you know you you kind of don't openly deal with those things that are deep inside um and the things that you really want the things that you really feel coming into alignment with what the outward self is showing and what you're actually experiencing in daily life so it's those two coming together and with it being a full moon and being all about us releasing what no longer serves us it can be a time to release anything that's getting in the way from alignment getting in the way of alignment so getting in the way of what your soul and your inner self your higher self wants and needs and what you're outwardly projecting and what you're getting so it's a way of aligning them and anything that's in the way of them to become aligned is a good time to release them um so yeah just think of the sun and moon coming together dark and light so that's the way i like to think of it um it's also a beaver moon so um that is the farm farmer's almanac um native american name for this moon in november is a beaver moon and that's because that was the time when they saw uh, beavers on the river like starting to build their dams and starting to like get ready for winter um so it's a good time for us to like kind of reflect on that and what native americans used to believe obviously the beavers were really industrious um and uh, well to be fair to be really brutally honest the native americans used to set traps for them and catch the beavers and that meant that they could eat for winter so that's what that moon told them it's a time to set the beaver traps 
but from a more spiritual point of view we don't want to go out catching beavers um it can it's the fact that the beavers are really industrious they um use what's around them to build their home they um appreciate what's around them use it to make sure they've got comfort and safety over winter so for us now it's um, a good time to appreciate what we've got to bring everything home to settle down for the winter and to like to use yeah what what we've got and like whereas last month we were harvesting um the things that we'd grown and the things that we'd built over the year and enjoying that harvest now it's like kind of getting ready to settle down in our homes appreciate what's around us the small comforts and um, that's the kind of thing that we want to be focusing on during this full moon. Um, the Celtic or the pagan name for this moon was, there's a few different names, but morning moon. Um, so not morning as in like the start of the day, morning as in like kind of morning or loss. Um, and that was because the because um, October is obviously Samhain, Halloween, um, and that is the pagan New Year. Um, and then so what happens after New Year is about shedding old habits and like um, like getting ready to start a new, getting rid of anything that no longer serves you, that's getting in the way of that new year, that new habit, that new kind of energy. So it's similar to like the new year that we have in January. Um, so this full moon for the pagan um, with the morning moon would be about shedding any old habits or anything that's getting in the way of this new year that's just come um so that's basically everything about this full moon um hopefully we'll get to see it because they've been quite visible lately so it be, should be quite big and quite bright in the sky it has been around here in the days running up to this when there's been no clouds so if you can get out and look at it um, either tonight or tomorrow night it'll still be visible in the sky but like I said the actual full moon the energy of the full moon the moon that's really full is tomorrow morning so what we'll do now is um, do the little ritual that we always do um, and um, and then I'll do a little card pull for you and I'll reveal the cards tomorrow just to give everyone a chance to to watch the video and choose a card okay so yeah, let me know everyone how you are because I know it's been a little while since I've posted anything on here um, and I have missed it massively. It's been a massive, yeah, a massive gap in my life not doing this and I feel like it helps me to get my own spiritual practice um, and I've been so busy that, to be honest, it has kind of lapsed a little bit. Um, so sharing it with everyone else is really good for me as well. So I hope everyone um, forgives me for not being around but also really enjoys getting back into it. So first of all, I'm going to cleanse the energy with a bit of sage. I've got a new cat as well who might make an appearance, um, a new black kitten, but she hates sage and she'll probably run out of the room. She's definitely a witch's cat. Right, okay. So I'm just going to sage the energy, just cleansing the energy before we do any ritual. That's what we do. You know this by now. So just wafting that smoke just around the room. Just put that down. And then I've got a black candle today because um, I feel like at the minute um, protection is what I need. So black candles are for protection. They are good in full moon spells or you can use a white candle, which is anything to do with the moon or it tends to be more about setting intentions. But black is for protection. And I feel like this full moon, the shedding the things that um, I need to shed is quite difficult. So um, protection during that for the kind of emotions associated with that is quite good. So that's why I'm using a black candle. Use whatever candle you've got around. So I'm just going to light that and then just set that down in the holder. Oh, don't want to light Gonna set that down and then just take a minute just to like kind of bring everything in and focus on what we're doing so just gonna close down your eyes and just take some nice deep breaths so breathing in through the nose nice and full and then blowing out through the mouth 
again just breathing in nice and slowly through the nose and really feel your tummy inflating so you take a nice deep breath and then just in your own time blowing that out the mouth I'm just gonna center everything and focus on this moment so wherever you are doing this whatever's going on around you just try and just focus on this moment and the ritual that we're doing and anything that you've done today any running around or anything you've got to do after this just try and just set that to one side just for a few moments and we're just going to think about this full moon and this full moon eclipse and all that light and dark part of ourselves are we aligning that or the way you're acting or the the things that you've got in your life that the way you're heading is that really aligned with how you feel or um are the things around you aligning with how you feel the people that you're spending your time with do they align with how you really feel um and also just thinking about that beaver moon and what we have around us in our home and just being thankful for that and is there anything that's getting in the way of you being thankful and grateful for your home and in, is there anything that's getting in the way of enjoying that home life is the are you taking on extra things at work is there extra things outside of that that are taking you away from the home and stopping you from appreciating that and then also the morning moon we're thinking about that as well so are there are there any habits or any negative energies around that are stopping you from enjoying this like new year of moon cycles and heading into the festive season is there anything that's going to stop you from enjoying that and then obviously we've got the new year after that so this is a time where we start to to wind down towards that and think about the things that we want to shed and release and then just take a, a couple of nice deep breaths and when you're ready just get pen and paper and just write down what it is that you want to release to this full moon what is it that you want to let go of you know we're always being nice and gentle with ourselves as well nothing you're not putting too much pressure on yourself just something that you think if you can release it it would make the load a little bit easier and allow you to focus on the things that matter and it can be um, memories, it can be energy, it can be habits, it can be people, it can be stuff in your home, it can be anything that you want to release and let go of to make way for new things. So when you've done that, when you're ready, I'm just going to fold it up and then I'm doing this in a different place in the house than normal so I'm hoping that it's not going to set any fire alarms off or anything. Um, I'll soon see. So I've written mine already and then all we do is we're just going to light that and then just put it to one side. Well I've got it in a little dish like this and just let it burn. Done. I'm just making sure it's not setting my house on fire. There we go. Um, so something gets a bit smoky in here, that's why. So then we do that and then just take a moment and just say, under the light of this full moon, I release all that no longer serves me to make way for everything that comes in its place. Okay. And that's our ritual done so as always what we do is i would if you can keep the candle lit and um, let it burn out if you're able to if it's safe to do so it just allows that kind of energy to fully flow okay so what i'll do now is i will pull three of these moonology cards so it's this one as always yasmin boland moonology so I'll pull three cards now and then what I'll do is I'll post them below this and you can choose your cards and then I will post the reveal um, tomorrow when everyone's had a chance to look at it. Let's see. So we have a 
card number one, card number two, and card number three. So I'll post this below and you can choose and comment which card it is that you feel drawn to and then I'll reveal what the meanings are tomorrow. So thank you everyone for watching this video and for joining me in a full moon ritual. Please let me know how you are and how things are going for you and um, say hello in the comments. Um, and yeah, you know, feel free to share what it is you're releasing, anything that's going on for you in this full moon, how you're feeling. And yeah, just enjoy this full moon. And hopefully I will see you at the next one in December, um, if not before. Um, but again, thank you for all the support and um, I'll see you all soon. Lots of love.